fella. We can be that mistake. Let's do this. Oh, what it do, y'all? Hey, guys. We are Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. Coming at you first time in a while. Um, we've uh, It's been a while since we've done some Mickey Flanagan. Yeah, it has. But uh, the reason is because a lot of his shit keeps getting blocked. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. But uh, yeah. hopefully this one doesn't. So, uh, y'all asked us to do Deli Belly. Deli Belly. And we searched it in YouTube search, and this is what came up. All right, so let's see. If you're watching this on YouTube... We got it through. And if you're watching it on a Patreon, then we did it. <laughs> then thank you for your Patreon. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. There's only one place I'll go on a regular basis, Spain. <laughs> now, Spain is lovely because we turned up in the mid-70s and we conquered the Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> we said we like it here, but we want a couple of changes. Because <laughs> there's no bingo in the evening. <laughs> the cabaret's not very good, and we're struggling to get a roast on Sundays. Oh. And there was a fear, wasn't there, of going to Spain? A massive fear, an overwhelming fear, and I'll tell you what it was. The shits. Oh. <laughs> the fear of the shits was monumental. <laughs> You'd say to people, we're going to Benidorm next year. They go, oh. You'll get the shits. <laughs> mm. And you'd have to justify it and say, well, at least you can rely on the weather. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Spain, get the shits, have a nice time, come back. <laughs> Over the last 30 odd years, the shits has largely disappeared from this experience. Have you? <laughs> you don't get the shits. You come home, you come home unscathed. <laughs> You've got to go more long haul now if you want to get the shits. Uh. You've got to go more international. <laughs> this time last year, I was invited to India, to Mumbai, for the opening weekend of the comedy store in India. And then when I turned up, they pulled me to one side. They said, listen, Mick, we've got a thing here called Deli Belly. It's a bit tasty. <laughs> get it, you'll be banging trouble. <laughs> So don't have ice in your drinks, leave the salads alone, be careful. I said, you're all right. I've been going to Spain for 30 years. <laughs> I'm covered. <laughs> so, I'm having ice in my drinks. I'm having the salads, I'm washing in a ditch. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> so, day three. 10.30 at night, after the show, I looked at me mate, Paul, I said, Paul, I don't feel right, mate. I'm a very regular man. I go in the morning. It's half 10 at night, and I feel like I need to go. He <laughs> said, well, why don't you go? I said, no, I'm going to go. And I went to the toilet. And with the gentlest of pushes. Oh, here we go. The world fell out of my ass. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, it's what? like, like, I, 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 when we did Indian Abroad uh, India episode, <coughs> I could have predicted that this gentleman, Mickey, should have avoided all the aforementioned things. Ice in the drinks, salads. A lot of people don't don't think about ice in the drinks. Uh huh. How long is it sitting? Yeah. Do they use their hands? Yep. Oh yep. man. I even told you when you went to out there. I was like, hey, stick to your open bottle or your your bottles. You open them. Uh huh. And that's it. Cold drinks, no ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No I, ice. I, 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 I when it went to St. Martin, you know, yeah. we, like you never know. You, you never, never know. Right. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> the world fell out of its ass. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I couldn't imagine. And that, there goes your vacation. Oh, yeah. There you're goes, done. You're done, man. You're down for a good, depending on what it is, uh, two to three days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of, with medicine. You're done. Oh, man. Oh, my God. It is terrifying. <laughs> you're wondering where it all comes from. <laughs> To panic, you think I'm going to empty? <laughs> I'm going to end up a costume of a man. <laughs> They're going to find me 
bang on the back of the door. <laughs> I went out to me, mate, Paul, a bit panicky. Genuinely scared. I said, Paul, this stuff's coming out of me. <laughs> All this dirty water. He said, well, how bad is it? I said, have you ever emptied an old radiator? <laughs> we're looking at. <laughs> he said, oh, it can't be that bad. He said, come and have a light out. What's the matter with you? Come. I said, I can't. I said, I've got about five seconds <laughs> between I think I'm going to shit myself <laughs> and when I will. <laughs> <laughs> I said, this ain't no disco, man. <laughs> this ain't no fooling around. <laughs> said, and he was rather unsympathetic, if you don't mind me saying. A couple of days later, he phoned me up, room to room. About half past nine in the morning, sounding a little bit upset. He said, Mick, I think I've got him. <laughs> I said, go on then, how bad is it? He said, put it this way, I've just farted. <laughs> and some of it sprayed on me pillar. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> I never work out how that bullet ended up where it did. I said, Jimmy, you got shit on your pillow. I don't know how it ended up there. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, the funny thing is, oh. right before we recorded this video, yeah. this batch of videos, <laughs> <laughs> I had to leave the storage unit area because yeah. we were about to have an emergency. Yeah. And then we come do this video. <laughs> oh, man. Is that what put it in your mind to do uh, this one? No, I didn't know what it was. I was just like, oh, you know, Mickey Flanagan. <laughs> 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 oh, dude. Oh, man. We've all been there. We've had something bad. Oh, man. And especially if you're oh. in a, uh, an area where you're oh. not too familiar with their cuisine. Yeah. It's something something you haven't had before, and your your body needs to adjust to it. <laughs> yeah. And when I adjust means get it all out. Yes. Right now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Digest it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Any means necessary. It's yeah. got to go. Yeah. I had a. Uh, Coming back from uh, Venezuela when I was a kid, man. Like, dude, same thing. But it hit me in the airport. Oh, no. Which is the worst place to get it. Because uh. then you have a plane trip. And then you have customs. And then you have, like, oh. not the best place. No. Not the best place, man. That that sucks. Oh, man. I once, uh... <laughs> oh. I have a confession to make. Do it. I, uh, the last Ocean City gig I had of the 2021 season, uh-huh. it wasn't a cancellation. Oh, man. I had a situation. Yeah, I bet. And I had to, I didn't have any backups. So I was just, me, my bare, uh, uh, shorts, I had to leave my underwear yeah. in the woods. Yeah, and you're like... And that's when you're like, do I really need my socks? <laughs> Let's see. What other spare <laughs> spare clothes can I spare? Oh well, man. Well, I had I had a bunch of fast food napkins oh in my, my God. in my house. That's crazy. in my car, sorry. <laughs> and, Dude. Uh, listen, there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than that. Oh there's man. There's nothing worse than that. Please don't unsubscribe after no. <laughs> we tell you that story. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh man. man, but this is too long. Oh yeah, this is this is it's funny, just, man. Mickey is always relatable. Yeah, like it's like I, I've said it in a video before. He's like Jeff Foxworthy. Yeah, he has a Foxworthy vibe about yeah. him. He's he is he is your everyman comic. Yes, yes. He is not telling jokes. Jokes. He's just telling his life, and it's funny. Yeah, yeah. He has funny delivery. Yeah. on his life. Yeah, I like that man. Oh man, <sighs> thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Definitely. 
Until next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, seriously wipe your butt, blow your nose. And embrace the suck, guys. See y'all next time. Later.